Today, I will be your English teacher. Before I begin, I will check your attendance first. Say present if your name is called, okay? Janela. Aya. Bruce. Jake. Laika. Very good! No one is absent today! Class, do we have an assignment? Okay, can we pass forward your assignment notebook so that I can check it later? As we begin, kindly pick up those letters around you and arrange your chairs properly. I want you to listen when your teacher is talking and raise your right hand if you want to say something or answer. Is everything clear, class? Very good! Before we start our new lesson, can you tell me what was our lesson yesterday? Very good! Our lesson yesterday was all about noun. My question is, what is now, anyone from the class? Yes, Aya? Very good. In the previous lesson, we have understood that words which tell names of persons, places, things, and events are called nouns. I have here an example. The name of our province is Davao Oriental. What is the noun in the sentence? Yes, Jay. Very good! It is Davao Oriental. Class, today we will discuss a new lesson and I know all of you will enjoy. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to first, identify the proper nouns and common nouns. Second, appreciate the use of common nouns and proper nouns. Third, Give examples of proper nouns and common nouns. Okay, kids, are you now ready? Very good, so am I. I have here a story to read and you are going to listen. Is everything clear, class? Great job! The title of our story today is The Farmer. Mom Efren lives in one of the barangays in Taragona. He is a farmer. He has five children, namely Maria, Marta, Pedro, Juan, and Kiko to feed on. That's why he needs to work hard to earn money. He gets up before sunrise while the air is still fresh and cool to work on the field. He leaves the house to go to his farm by walking. As soon as he arrives in his farm, he actively works by plowing, applying needed fertilizers, and pruning. Around 9 in the morning, he takes a break, changes his wet clothes, and takes his breakfast. At 9.30, he returns to finish his work. In the afternoon, during the hottest hours of the day, 
Mang Efren takes a rest at the shaded part of the farm. Every late afternoon, he checks and monitors the growth of his plants. While in the evening, he spends his time with his family. And after a week of hard work, Mang Efren spends his Sunday with his family and they go to church together. Okay class, did you understand the story? Very good! I have here a few questions to ask. First, who is the main character of the story? Yes, Bruce? Very good! It is Mom Efren. How many children does Mom Efren have? Yes, Janella? Very good! Mom Efren have five children. So why does Mom Efren work hard? Yes, Jake? Very good. Mom Efren work hard to earn money for the needs of his family. What day does the family go to church? Very good. It is Sunday. So where does Mom Efren take a rest? Very good! Mom Efren takes a rest at the shaded part of the farm. The story we had earlier has something to do with our topic today. We will talk about the common noun and the proper noun. What comes into your mind when you hear the word common noun? Yes? Yes, Aya? Very good. Let's give Aya five gloves. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Common noun means a kind or type of persons, places, things, and events. It is usually not capitalized unless it begins a sentence or is part of a title. For example, man, teacher. Doctor, pencil, mountain. Those are examples of common nouns. Okay, I have here sentences and you are going to locate the common noun. Are you ready? Very good. So am I. First, I accidentally broke the glass. What is the common noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, Aya? Very good. It is the glass. Next. My brother was promoted today. What is the common noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, Aya? Very good. It is the brother. I added new books to the library. What is the common noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, like a... Very good. The common noun in the sentence are the books and the library. Can you give me other examples of common noun? Anyone? Yes, Jake? Very good. Car and school are examples of common noun. How about you, Janela? Can you give us an example of common noun? Very good. A woman is an example of a common noun. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, class, we will now proceed with the proper noun. Proper noun means a specific person, places, things, ideas, and events, and it begins with a capital letter. Again, it begins with... Very good! Proper noun always begins with a capital letter. So examples of proper noun...
pronouns are Dr. Cruz, Juan de la Cruz, Mao Pinatubo, Barangay San Jose, and Jupiter. And there are many other examples of proper nouns. Okay, here. Alan is a good friend. What is the proper noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, Bruce? Very good. The proper noun in the sentence is Alan. How about Tokyo is the capital city of Japan? What is the proper noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, Laika? Very good. It is Japan. Next. Tomorrow is Saturday. What is the proper noun in the sentence? Anyone? Yes, Janela. Very good. It is Saturday. Class, did you understand our lesson today? Can you now identify the difference between a common noun and a proper noun? Great job! To make it clear, I have here examples of proper nouns and common nouns. For the type of person, the common noun is girl and the proper noun is Sheila, which is basically a name of a specific girl. In the place, the common noun is street and the proper noun is Lily Street. Example of a thing in common noun is locked up and the proper noun is Samsung, which refers to the brand of the locked up. Next, idea. The common noun is religion and the proper noun is Christianity, which refers to a specific religion. Can you now identify the difference between the proper noun and the common noun? Is it clear? Are you sure? Very good! Again, class, what was our topic all about? Exactly! We tackled about the common noun and the proper noun. What is a common noun? Very good! A common noun names a kind or type of person, place, thing, or event. It starts with a small letter unless it begins a sentence or is part of a title. For example, they are all waiting for us at the restaurant. The common noun in the sentence is the restaurant. Another example, I want to live in the city. The common noun in the sentence is the city. For short, common nouns are words used to name general items rather than specific ones. When you go to your living room, what do you see? Okay, in your living room, you can see a lock, a window, a chair, a couch, a TV, and many more things. All of these items are named using common nouns. How about a proper noun? What is a proper noun? Very good! Proper noun names a specific person, place, thing, idea, and event. It starts with a capital letter and is very specific. For example, he went to Rose Park to play basketball. The proper noun in the sentence is the Rose Park. Another example, I finished school last June. The proper noun in the sentence is June. Very good. Okay, kids, don't be confused with the difference between the common noun and the proper noun. Remember that the common noun aren't 
claiming anything in specific. Well, the proper noun names a specific person, places, things, ideas, and events. Did you get it? Very good! Amazing! Okay, class, I assume that you already know our lesson today. Now, it's your turn to answer these activities. Follow the directions carefully. In the activity one, you are going to identify the nouns in the following sentences. You are going to underline the common nouns and encircle the proper nouns. I will give you five minutes to answer. Time's up! We will now check your answer. Make sure you underline the right common nouns and encircle the proper nouns. Number one. The people in Japan celebrate many holidays. The common nouns are... Very good! The people and the holidays. How about the proper noun? Very good! The proper noun is Japan. Number two. Many groups work together to build these giant sculptures of snow. What are the common nouns in the sentence? Very good! The common nouns in the sentence are groups, sculptures, and snow. How about the proper noun? Is there a proper noun in the sentence? Very good! There is no proper noun in the sentence. Number three. Do you recognize any of the statues or buildings? What are the common nouns in the sentence? Correct! The common nouns in the sentence are the buildings and the statues. How about the proper noun? Very good! There is none. Number four. Many villages are colorful. The common noun in the sentence is the villages. And there is no proper noun. Number five. Different flowers bloom on different seasons of the year. The common nouns are flowers, the seasons, and the year. And there is no proper noun. Very good. How many of you get the perfect score? Amazing! All of you got the perfect score. Okay, let's have another activity. You are going to write C if the word is a common noun and write P if the word is a proper noun. Okay, kids, are you done? Very good. Let's check your answer. Number one, Julina. It's letter P. Number two, Song. It's letter C. Number three is... United States, and it is letter P. Number four is CD, and it is letter C. And the last one is CAT, which is letter C. Very good! For your assignment number one, you are going to write three examples of common noun and three examples of proper noun. And for your assignment number two, you are going to write a sentence using proper noun and common noun for the following pictures. Before we end this class, I want you to look around and pick up those pieces of paper around you. Arrange your chairs properly and please remain standing for our closing prayer. Who wants to lead the prayer? Okay, Aya will lead the prayer. Be 
Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day, sharing your love with our teacher and classmates. Thank you for the strength and excellence you gave us to learn and understand our lessons. Thank you to our teachers, parents, and classmates who shared to us the joy of learning. Amen. And that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you learned from our topic which is the proper noun and the common noun. Again, this is Teacher Cash saying Thank you and stay safe everyone! Today, clap, 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 sing with me. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, 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 my friends. You did a great job today. Clap, 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 sing with me. Let's wave our hands goodbye.